Hey guys, the Mango Testnet launched December 31st, 2024 and it's set to last for 45 days. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to join the Mango Testnet and earn as many points as possible. The first thing to do is to set up your Mango Wallet. Visit the Mango Wallet extension page using the link in the description, install it and set it up by creating a new account or importing an existing account using your seed phrase. Once you've set up your Mango Wallet, visit the Mango Network page, you'll find the link in the description. Once you land on the page, connect your wallet by clicking Connect Wallet, select Mango Wallet, accept the signature request, and now your wallet is connected. Scroll down, connect your Twitter, Discord, and your Telegram, then click Join Now. Once your registration is complete, you can start completing tasks on the Mango testnet. So after you've signed up, the next thing to do is to claim some test tokens. So there are several ways to claim test tokens on the Mango testnet. The first one is by using the Mango wallet. So on your extensions tab, you can open your Mango wallet, click claim for set, and now you receive some test tokens. The second way to claim test tokens is via the Mango Discord. But before you do that, make sure to copy your wallet address by clicking this copy icon here. In the Mango Discord, scroll to the support section and visit the MGO faucet channel. So the syntax is to tag at mgo faucet and paste your Mango address. So type at MGO, and you can see that it's auto populated here. You can click on the MGO faucet, paste your account address, and hit enter. Be careful while doing this because you can only make this request once every 10 hours. So ensure you're using the correct syntax. The next way to claim test tokens is via the Mango dashboard. So on your dashboard, click events and click faucet. So here you see three options. Click the first button. Click the next button. And click the last button. So if you've already claimed test tokens via your Mango wallet, you won't be able to claim Mango test tokens from this first button. Now that you have some test tokens, you can start completing quests on the testnet. So the first thing you want to do once you visit the dashboard is to sign in. So click events and click sign in now. Click sign in now, accept the approval request, and now you've signed in for the day. So you can start completing tasks. So scroll to the bottom and on the tax list tab, you can see a list of tasks you have to complete daily. So the first one is the mango swap. To complete the mango swap, click anywhere on this card and it will take you to the quest page. So for this tax, you need to swap mango to USDT, exchange USDT for my and exchange my for USDT. To complete this tax, scroll to the bottom and click go to do task. Once you land on the page, connect your wallet by clicking the connect button. Select Mango Wallet. Accept the approval request in your wallet. I've already connected, so I don't need to accept any request. But if this is your first time, you will need to accept an approval request in your wallet. So for the first tax, we need to swap MGO to USDT. So click the first drop down menu here. Select MGO. Click the second drop down menu. Select USDT, enter the amount of Mango you want to swap, click Submit, accept the approval request in your wallet, and now this transaction has been submitted to the blockchain. So after completing the tax, go back to the tax page and click Submit. And you will see it will change to Synchronizing. After a while, it will change to Completed. So for every tax you complete, to prove that you've completed the tax, come back to the tax page and click the submit button so it can verify the tax automatically. So once the tax has been verified, it will change from synchronizing to completed and you'll earn your points automatically. So the next tax is to exchange USDT for my. So we go back to the Mango swap, change this to USDT, change this to my, enter the amount of USDT. Click Submit, accept the approval request in your wallet. Now the task has been submitted to the blockchain. Go back to the page and click Submit. So the last task for this swap is to exchange my for USDT. 
So on the mango swap, select my the second one, select USDT, enter the amount of my you want to swap, and click submit. Then accept the approval request in your wallet. Go back to the tax page and click submit. So that's it for the mango swap. So go back, click the back button. And now for the Mango Bridge, click anywhere on this card. So for this tax, we need to bridge tokens from Mango to BSC, from Mango to Ethereum, from BSC to Mango, and from Ethereum to Mango. So scroll to the bottom and click this button to visit the bridge. For the first tax, we need to bridge any token from Mango to BSC. On the bridge, click Select Network and select Mango. Click Connect Wallet. Click on asset to select a token. So I'm selecting USDT. The next thing to do is to select the network you want to bridge to, which in this case will be BSC. But if it isn't selected, make sure to select the network and select the asset to swap. So now I can click connect wallet and my wallet is connected. I've already connected my wallet to the bridge, but if this is your first time, you will need to accept an approval request in your wallet. So once you've selected the network and the asset or the change, enter the amount of the token you want to bridge and click submit. Accept the approval request in your wallet. Now the transaction is successful. We we'll go back to the page, click submit. For the next task, we need to bridge an asset from Mango to Ethereum. So we go back to the bridge and change our network to Ethereum. Select the asset to bridge, which is USDT. Enter the amount of USDT to bridge and click submit. Accept the approval request. Transaction successful. Go back to the tax page and click submit. The next tax involves bridging from BSC to Mango. For most bridges, you will see the option to switch the direction, but this doesn't have it. So the best thing to do here is to refresh this page. Okay, so now all the selections have been cleared. So we can start afresh. So first select the network which is BSC, let me choose BNB, and now Mango Testnet has been selected. If it isn't selected, make sure to change the network to the correct network you want to bridge to. So now that the network and the assets have been set, click Connect Wallet, and your wallet will be connected. Next thing, enter the amount of the token you want to swap, click Submit. If it says this, click Submit again so you to switch the network in your wallet. Accept the approval request, and now the transaction has been submitted. So go back to the tax page and click submit. For the final tax, you need to bridge an asset from Ethereum to Mango. So go back to the Mango bridge and change the network from BSC to Ethereum. Select an asset. I'll be using USDT. Next thing, select the destination network, which in this case is Mango. So I have to change this from BSC to Mango. Select the asset to be bridged, which is USDT, and click Connect Wallet. Now the wallet is connected on both chains, enter the amount of the token you want to swap, and click Submit. If you see this switch to Ethereum Testnet, click the Submit button again for the switch to happen in your wallet. So you click the Submit button, accept the approval request, and now the transaction has been submitted. So go back to the tax page and click Submit. So that says for the Mango Bridge. The next tax is the Bindex Beta DAP. So click on this card. And here you need to trade AI for USDT and USDT for AI. Okay, scroll down and click this button. It's not supposed to show this, it's supposed to show go to task as with the other tax, but for some reason it's showing completed when I haven't completed the tax for today. You will see the option to go to the tax here, click the button, and it will take you to the Bindex beta page. You also find the link to the Bindex beta page in the description. So here, scroll to the bottom of the page and you will see the trading pair here, so click on it. Click the Connect Wallet button, select Mango Wallet, and accept the approval request in your wallet. Since I've already connected to this DAP, I don't need to accept an approval request, but if this is your first time, you will need to accept it. All you have to do here is to buy and sell. To so ensure you are buying immediately, change this limit order to a market order, and select anywhere on the slider to choose an amount. Click buy, accept the approval request in your wallet, and now you've bought some AI. The next thing to do is to click the sell button. 
Make sure it's on market order so that the transaction will complete immediately. Use the slider to select the amount and click sell. Accept the approval request. And now you've sold some AI. So go back to the tax page and click submit on both tax. So that's it for the Beindex Beta DAP quest. The next task involves installing the Beindex app on mobile and using the Beindex app to claim test tokens. So what you do is to use this link to download the app, import the same account you're using for the Mango Testnet to the Beindex app. Once you've imported your Mango Testnet account to the Beindex app, switch to the DAP tab and search for Mango in the search bar. You will see Mango Network Testnet Tax. Tap on it and you will see this page on the app. So click the menu icon at the top right and tap events. Scroll down on the tax list tab. Look for the Beindex app card. It should look like this. So all you have to do is to tap on the click to claim gas button. So once you've done that, the tax will synchronize and after a while it will complete. Right now this tax is buggy, so you may have issues completing this task. But in the coming days, there should be a fix for that. So the final tax is the Discord tax. For this tax, you need to claim test tokens from the Discord channel and I already showed you that earlier. So once you've claimed test tokens from the Discord, come here and click submit. You can see the tax is completed already. So make sure to check in every day, sign in, and complete your daily tags on the Mango Testnet. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in my Telegram group. The link to the group is in the description. Join my Telegram channel for Mango Testnet updates, crypto airdrops, tips and tutorials if you haven't joined the yellow test net check out this video at the top of your screen to help you get started check out the bonus section of this video description for more test net so keep completing your mango test net tags stay safe and i'll see you in the next video